These areas are known to be 20 cm square, 32 square centimeters, 16 square centimeters. And what's the area of this part? Given that the whole thing is a, a rectangle, is a square, and these are the middle points. Now the quick way is that quick way is that first we realize that this is the middle point, so we just connect connect these points. Likewise. And the benefit of doing that is that immediately we can see that the area of this triangle, let's call that A, and the area of this triangle, call that also A. The reason is because they have the same height and also they have exactly the same base. Right? And likewise, so this triangle area is B, and this triangle area also B this triangle, its area is C, and also this triangle area, also C, for the same reason. And this triangle area is D, and so this is the middle point, right? Same reason, so this triangle, also area is D. And so that looks like we have four unknowns, and we, uh, hopefully we have perhaps th four equations. And if we're, if we're lucky enough, we may have a solution. So let's find out. The total, the total area is, let me see. I want to find out the area of this part. That is to find out A plus D. Right? And so we also know that A plus B is 16. And also B plus C is 20 and C plus D, 32. And what else? A plus D, we don't know that. So it looks like we have four unknowns, but three equations here. Uh, so usually we cannot expect to have a solution, but here I think we may have a solution. The reason is that first we use subtraction. So 1 minus 2, we immediately have A minus C is negative 4, so equation 4. And also, let's use equation 3 plus equation 4, and we immediately have C and negative C cancelled, so A plus D. Like I said, in this case, so 32 minus 4, 28. So we're lucky enough that uh, we, even without solve for individual A, B, and C, C and D, we still have the answer for A plus D. Right, so immediately area is 28 so square centimeters. But to be honest, this is not the first solution I, that I've come up with. Like I said, the previous method was fantastic, which I found on the internet. So the first solution I came up with was totally different, kind of ugly and dummy. So this is how I did it. So first solution I thought of was that I want to connect, since these are the middle points, so immediately I want to connect these points. So those two points, those two points. Right? So immediately I realized that if I say set the edge, the length of the square to be 2a, so which means this length is a, this length is also a, 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 and a, 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 a. And so that the area of each small triangle, so this small triangle, right, which is the same as this small triangle, this small triangle, this small triangle, they should be equal to each other. And the area of, uh, let me see, so let me just use A, B, C, D. Uh, e, F, G, H, 
So the area of area of or H B E H B E triangle exactly equal to half of this times that. Right, that is half of A times A. Right, and so this, 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 all the same. And so the question is, how can I relate relate this area? I already have an unknown. So then I want to somehow, because this, this unknown X, area X, another unknown, two unknowns. And then I want to construct a, through this point, I want to draw a perpendicular line. So perpendicular, also perpendicular. And through this point, also draw a per perpendicular line. Perpendicular. So now if I can just establish a relation between the whole area and the area of this triangle, GH, this middle point, this point, let's call that K. All right, so this point, K. So if I can draw really this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, and this triangle, right? They should have some relation. So what's the relation here? So first of all, I want to express the area of this area, 16 centimeters square, this area. How can I exp express that? So that's the sum of this small triangle, like I said, this part. plus the area of this small triangle. And that is what? Half of the base times the height. The height, I call it, this height, I call it H1. The base, base is exactly square, uh, square root of two times this, 45 degree, right? So, half of square root of 2 times a times the height which is h1 equal exactly 16 and for the same reason so to express this part 20 centimeter square i have to say that also the this small triangle half of a square plus also let me call this height h2 perhaps right then h2 times the base also the base is so half of the base is square root of the times a then times h2 right? and to express 32 same reason half of a squared plus half of square root of 2 times a base times the height Height is called that H3, this height. More and more unknowns, but don't worry, we're going to solve them in the end. So here, the last part, to express this whole uh, question mark, the area, X, right? So X, same reason, half of A squared plus half of square root of 2 times a, that's the base, times the height, which is h4. Now, we have more relations, right? more relations of between h1, h2, h3, and h4. That is the sum of h1 and h3, right? That's the length of this segment, equal to the length of this segment, because, because, F G E H is exactly a square because for obvious reasons, right? So, so H two plus H so H one plus H three equals square root of two times a this length, right? So 
H1 power H3 equals square root of 2 times A. This line. And also, H2 plus H, H4. Also, square root of 2 times A. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 unknown, unknowns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 equations. So if we're lucky enough, we may have a solution or not. Well, I think in this case, I think we do. So do I want to use matrix operation? Perhaps not necessary. We could, but I think in this case, we can simply use substitution. So first of all, I want to perhaps express H3 in terms of H1, right? square root of A minus H1. And also I want to express H4 in terms of H2. So square root of 2 times A minus H2. Now, if I substitute into here and there, so immediately I have half of a squared plus half of square root of 2 times a times h3 becomes square root of a minus h1. And that is 32. And here I have half of a squared plus half of square root of 2 times a times h4. That is just square root of a minus h2 equals x. Now all of a sudden I have really I want to work I want to use because these are already used and these already become that. So really I want to use this equation, this equation and this equation and this equation. So after substitution and simplification, effectively, all I have to deal with is those four equations. So simplify equation three, what can we get? So we have half of a squared plus, so this times that is two over two times a, that a, a squared, a squared, I believe, a, a squared. And so that becomes just three a squared over two. And uh, this times that negative again, negative half of square root of times a times h1 equals 32. Equation 5. And equation 4 simplified down to become this times that is 2 over 2 times a squared. That's a squared combined with this is again 3a squared over 2. And this times that, same reason, half of square root of 2 times a times h2 is x, equation 6. And now I want to use Equation 1 and equation 5, because now I can simply add them up, because I realize, I realize this positive and this negative can exactly cancel out, right, exactly, uh, yes, cancel out. And so this times plus that, 4a squared over to 2a squared. And that is uh, 16 plus 32, 48. So I immediately have a is equal to square root of 24. Okay. And now I can successfully Wait, H, H1, right. 
Now I can, let me see, A is equal to 20, no. Perhaps from, from equation five, or equation one, I can solve for H1, because A is known, right? So equation one, I have uh, half of A squared, half of A squared, half of 24, 12 plus half of square root of 2 times square root of 24 times h1 is equal to 16. And now h1 is equal to, so the square root of, so this might subtract that, 16 minus 12, 4. So square root of 48, wait, square root of 12, I think that becomes square root of 12 and uh, 4 over square root of 12 if I'm, if I'm right. And so that h1, yes, h1. So I want to work out x, right? So I want to work out h2. So here, a, h2 is what? Oh no, that won't be necessary. That won't be. But all I have to work out is, is this part, this part, h2. So half of a squared 24 plus half of square root of 2 times square root of 24 times h2 equal 20. Right? And immediately h2 becomes square root of 12. Right, so x is uh, using this equation. So two, three over two times a squared times 24 minus half square root of two times a times h2. And that is so this, this and that square root of two times square root of two two over two one minus eight. This becomes eight and thirty six minus eight twenty eight. Again, I was totally out of my mind as I was solving for the edge of the square. So I solved the linear system. To be a to be square root of 24, I should have immediately have uh, the length of the, uh, of the edge of the square should be 2a, right? And the s area of the whole square should be 4a square. Should be 4 times 24, 96. Then this area is. Just easily 96 minus the sum of these areas. 16 plus 20 plus 32. That is just 36, 68, and 28 again.